Hi, and welcome back. That was a little two creepy. Two mums and in a camera. camera. Um, two. So, I was at Costco last night. And I'm, are you? I'm scarred. I'm actually scarred. I'm usually scarred when I go to Costco. I realize. I try to keep that down to a minimum. I had an epiphany. I realized that everything that's wrong with humanity can be found at Costco. I know that sounds a little extra, but... A little. Starting off with parking. The fight over parking spots, the waiting for a spot that saves you maybe 10 meters of walking. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Is that laziness? It could be. The disregard of other people trying to get out, that's selfishness. Do you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Costco, you have to be a member. That's exclusive. We're talking middle to upper class at Costco, correct? Right, because Have you thought about that? Well, no. memberships cost, cost money, money, but also yeah. you can't just be anyone and get a member, can you? Don't you have to be affiliated with a company or something? Yeah, there's this paperwork. Let's just say this paperwork. And it's not easy for some people, and I think right there, they're kind of eliminating a certain demographic of people that I personally find a little offensive. Have you ever You're thought really, of that? You are Judge Judy today. No, I'm but gonna... have you thought of that? <laughs> I haven't. You know, and then you go into Costco and you're surrounded by this abundance of stuff and everything's in big packages and you end up... You spend you, more. Well, That's you're for sure. Easily, we cannot get out of there under $300. Oh. Easily. No. And I mean, we're lucky that we can spend $300 at Costco. Mm -hmm. Sorry, just touch your boot. <laughs> no problem. But you end up buying things that you don't need. Yes. So it's, it's gluttony too. Is that gluttony? No, that's later. I don't know what that is. Like when greed. you're... Greed. And they have you, you're like cattle because they purposely... <laughs> no, listen. They purposely put obstacles in your way so that you can't just go get what you want and get the heck out of there. They'll have an aisle that will fit three or four carts. However, they have like two display cases blocking so that only one through. person at a time can go by. Yeah. That creates a huge traffic jam, but what it does is it slows everyone down. And when it slows you down, you're likely to look around and be like, oh. You've really thought about I this. I have thought about this. What did I buy last night? I bought a book that I didn't need. But you know, I'm gonna read it. I don't even know if it's good. I didn't even really look at it very much. I'm like, ah. ah worth it right what else I bought <laughs> and you are I bought 200 packs of nasal rinse <laughs> for my neti pot I realized 200 that's... will you ever use well, yeah if I use one a day that's 200 days but <laughs> what possessed them to put 200 packs of nasal rinse in a box and who buys it obviously you me. do which is craziness and then okay let me talk about this now gluttony greed buying things you don't need and then when you check out okay first of all the lineups are nuts too you see all manner of personalities when you're lining up either to get like the food samples people are rude and push or i'm so tired of people abandoning their cart in the middle of an aisle to go get a sample so no one else can get by <laughs> It's just a lack of concern for other people that I find just unbelievable. And then the lineups, everyone's getting kind of agitated and sometimes people are nice and they talk, but it's a real hostile environment. Mm. And then you check out and then what do you face with this little food court thing where all they f serve is food that's unhealthy. Totally. Yeah. It's horrible. And you can smell it. You can smell the deep fried I mean, hot dogs. I have to fries. admit, I like me a Costco hot dog. <laughs> But now I'm thinking about it, I'm really ashamed. It's that you, is the gluttonous part, like that whole. So what do you what are you really? I'm gonna about? I'm gonna continue to go to Costco, but I I'm love Costco. I'm gonna try to I don't know what I'm gonna try to. Do. Okay, I'm well, gonna try to maybe only buy what I know I need and I'm gonna use, right. and not buy the extra that you will know, go bad or. Um, yeah, you especially if you don't have a large family, like for Gavin and I right now, we go to Costco seasonally. Oh God. <laughs> so we go probably every three to four months. We used to go monthly. 
And I do not know how we afforded it because the bills we were go, ridiculous. We go at least every month. Well, we had kids and they were younger and of course they would bring their friends and friends home. I don't, I don't know what we're home. buying. We used to buy big packs of things, but now we don't. But I love Costco. I've always loved it. I, I don't know why. And I, I think the parts that you hate, I do enjoy some of it. Like I do enjoy the shopping. I do enjoy getting to see things that I don't normally see in other stores. I bought so, clothes yesterday for Cameron. Like, I, I don't know why I needed to do this. I really didn't. But then when we got out to the car, we're putting our stuff in the car and there's a vehicle waiting for someone to pull out of a spot because they want to back in. Well, this other van comes and they're going to pull into the spot. And I'm seeing this all go down and the van is totally oblivious to anyone else around them and just pulls into the spot. Now, did you happen to go to Costco on a weekend? No, it was last night, a Monday night. Oh, so that's weird. I didn't know whether I should interfere then and tell the person that, you know what? <laughs> no, not in this day and age. This person was waiting for the spot, but she was looking at me helplessly. It was like a Help me. And if all she really had to do, I kid you not, is drive five spots up and she could have just pulled right in and she could have been shopping for 10 minutes while waiting for people this People are just angry. Why are people angry? People don't Why get angry. Why are you angry? You know what? This is called life. Love each other. <laughs> walk. Eat a hot Park dog. Park and walk. Eat a hot it's dog. better for you anyway. And you know what? You're supplied with a nice big cart that you can take all your stuff in. You don't have well, that's to. That's another thing. You have to be of certain like. Yeah, they're hard to push when they they're are. full, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. I like the food, the samples. Yeah. But do you like know what? Samples, but they don't serve as much as they used to. It used to be you could go in there and have a full meal. And you know what else happened last night <laughs> that, that really happening. upset me? Is Perrier, oh, look at me, <laughs> buying Perrier. Perrier. Perrier cans were on sale. But do you think they had any? No. They were up high, like on the top, like, skid of them up high and so we you couldn't do you it. Didn't we could see them there? but we couldn't get oh, them and that okay. was a bit frustrating too. I know those are like major problems to have. I couldn't get my Perrier yeah. at Costco They're and I'm, I'm ashamed that that bothered me actually. Yeah you've done a lot of deep thinking about Costco. It is deep. Yeah. Anyway yeah. whatever. I still enjoy Costco but I'm gonna go at it with a new frame of mind now. You're gonna be very like zen, zen. and chill and welcome the rush and the people and the yeah, and, and then you're smile gonna, at everyone and then you're gonna pause at each thing that you want to buy and think do I really need this that's right yeah okay, okay. you try we're that. gonna <laughs> yeah we're gonna ask you to try the same thing but I love Costco I have no problem with oh it. I'm struggling thanks for watching <laughs> bye